Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to implement Steam in the Godot 4. To get started, head over to AssetLib, type in Steam, select the Godot Steam GD extension 4.2 by Gramps, click download, and install. Let's go ahead and create a new script. In here, let's go ahead and create a new variable. This will be our app ID, set that to a string. Now, you may not have one already if you've not created your Steam page yet. If you don't, you can go ahead and use the default 480, which is provided to you by Steam. And here's an example of where you can find your app ID if you have a Steam page. Next, let's go to create a new function called init. Instead of here, we'll type os.set environment. The first environment will be Steam app ID. And we'll set that to our app ID. We're going to create one more environment. So os.set environment to Steam game ID, and we'll be setting that to app ID as well. Now, instead of our ready function, to reference our add-on, we'll type Steam, then we will do dot Steam init. And to make sure everything is running properly, we'll create a new variable called is running. We'll set that to Steam dot is Steam running, and we will check if not is running print error steam not running and then we will return and since we return here we can simply just type print steam is running now before you run this make sure you are logged into steam on your computer and press play and we can see here steam is running and i will be going more in depth on this in future videos however for right now we can get the username by going variable id we'll set that to steam dot get steam ID and we'll set variable name to steam dot get friend persona name and pass in that ID. Now we can print username with this and str name and press play. You see that I get my username gwiz, which is my username on Steam. Now, sadly, currently forward plus rendering does not support the Steam overlay. So if you would like to use that, you will have to use the compatibility mode. So select that and press save and restart. And now press play. And you'll see we get a Steam overlay. We press shift and tab and we will get our game. Now currently our overlay is of the default game on Steam. To change this, you can change the app ID to your app ID. And in this case, I'll use my app ID for Little Ninja and press play. And now it says Little Ninja, because that's my game on Steam. And you can do stuff like access achievements that you set on your Steam page, which we'll be going over more in the next video. And I will also be leaving a link to the Gramps documentation in the description down below. Anyways, guys, I hope you found this story helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.